You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 983. Today's Devo is called Cuts Like a Knife. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm your host, Lauren Alessi, and I'm joined once again by my sister, Gabby Alessi. Hello, everybody. How are you doing, Gabby? I am doing good. Lauren, we've had some good conversations. Yeah, really good. Deep conversations. I like deep conversations. Hopefully, everybody listening today is at peace. Yes. And there's no confusion (laughs) in their life. And now we're going to bring another hammer down. I love it. And hopefully they made some good decisions. Hopefully. (laughs) Or or they've planned. It's in their plan. And if you if you don't know what we're talking about, then you obviously missed yesterday's episode, and yeah. I would highly encourage you to go back and listen to it. Yeah, very true. And I also want to set a reminder, me and Rochelle talked a lot about this uh, in the previous weeks, that if you are listening to this podcast, go back, read the verses, but also read the full chapters. Yes. Don't just take our word for it. Go back and get the full context of what Paul was talking about. That's of good. like in 1 Corinthians and God being a God of order. Yeah. Um, and also like in your point in Acts, like don't just take our word for it in the one verse. There's yeah. so much richness and authority in the whole chapter that soak it all up. Don't yes. just take the one verse. And there's so much That's context so in that too. So anyways, just want to... Let's also add, if you are reading something or if you really like what we've said and you want to comment, please comment either on our page or Instagram page mm. or DM us. Um, Spotify, you can comment here, but we don't really have access to the comments here, so we can't respond to you like we'd want to and create that relationship. So please comment on our Instagram page, and we'd love to get to know you That's and how true. this is blessing you. That's true. Thank you for saying that because I would have forgotten to say that. So it's good job, right? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> all right, so Gabby, why don't you give us the third? We're halfway through the week. Yes, so give this us is Wednesday. It's a hard day for some. Give us that great power word. Okay. <laughs> Hebrew 4.12. You ready for this, Lord? Lauren? Lauren? <laughs> for the word of God is alive and active, sharper wow. than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. So I'm going to break this down really quickly. Do it. Number one, for the word of God is alive and active. Yep. If any of us listening think that the culture of today or politics or the powers of this world have negated or belittled the word of God or killed the word of God, we, this verse just solves that. Yeah. The word of God is alive and active. It is strong and powerful, and it still stands as our truth today. So Mm -hmm. that's number one. Number two, it is sharper than any double-edged sword, and it penetrates even dividing, and this is what I love, it divides soul and spirit, joints and marrow. Mm. When you read this book and you get into your word, maybe when you're listening to these episodes and you're hearing the verses that we're, we're, we're reading and we're speaking over you, it's meant to divide. Mm. It's meant to cut through the heart or cut like a knife. There it is. Yeah. It's meant to divide some people because when something's standing for truth, it's not going to apply to everybody. It's not going to compliment everybody. It's not going to agree with everybody. And that's the whole point of when people go into the word of God and they try to just take out the pieces or the verses that speak to them that they agree with, that's when you're really going to see some chaos in your life. Because if you can't agree with the whole Bible, don't, don't take any yeah, verses. Yeah, yeah. If you can't agree with the entire book, don't agree with the verse. Mm-hmm. That's how the, the Bible is. The Bible's meant to divide. The Bible is meant, I remember someone said, the Bible is meant to offend you. Mm. And that's okay. I've been hurt by the Bible. I've been offended by the Bible. I've <laughs> been confused sometimes. Like, what does that even mean? Well, it reminds me of people that are like, oh, I'm gluten-free. I'm dairy-free. But then you see them and they're like, oh, is that a chocolate cake? I love this chocolate cake. And then they're eating the chocolate. So it's like, oh, you're gluten-free when you want to be. You know? Exactly. Yeah. And it's like people are Christians and when they want to be. Mm-hmm. Or they're Bible believers when they want to be. When it feels good to them. When it feels good to them. And we've become like a Pinterest quote Christian mm-hmm. and society of like, oh my gosh, that's so good. The Lord is for me. And if he's for me, who can be against me? But they don't read the context of that verse. <laughs> yeah. Or they see like, they read about in First Peter or they read about 
all these different things, Philippians 4.12. And it's like, oh my God, I'm just so strong. And like, I can do this. And they don't realize that Paul was in prison when he was writing this. Thing. <laughs> and so you're like, do you not read the context? This is true. Sometimes the Bible is going to cut like a knife, but it's meant to do that. Mm -hmm. And we want God, we want the word of God to tell us what's right and what's wrong mm -hmm. because there needs to be a right and wrong. That's the second point. And lastly, it judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. We need to be judged. We need to be looked at in our attitude. We need to be checked. People think judgment and, and being judged is a bad thing. No, it's being checked. It's being held accountable. We need to be judged and our attitude needs to be checked. Our heart needs to be checked. And that's what the word of God does. So let it resonate in you. Let it divide and cut through the heart. Let yeah. it cut like a knife. Let it prune us and shape us and let it offend you and work to restore it. You know, mm -hmm. ask the Holy Spirit before you read this word. Okay, if it's alive, then it's going to speak to me. Then Holy Spirit, help prepare my heart to receive the word of God. Help to prepare my mind to receive the word of God. And that way we can learn from it. And we don't just leave it on the shelf or leave it on the coffee table and we never open it again because it's alive. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't let it sit dormant. It's alive and it's living and it's powerful and it's breathing. And think about it. That's the closest we can get to God's word. If you want to hear God, open his Bible. It's true. So yeah, it's true. I love that. I love that. And if you do get offended or, or can't understand something, the importance of praying. Yeah. Okay, God, why did that offend me? Yeah. Why can't I understand this verse? All of those things, that's why we have a relationship with God. Exactly. And it's not just about reading his word because we're in a religion, but it's because we have an individual relationship with yeah. him. And you can ask him those questions. God, why why can't I understand this exactly. verse? Why is this verse creating some sort of tension in me? And God is so good that he answers those prayers Amen. for us. And so, Gabby, why don't you lead us out in prayer for today? Yes. Lord, we just thank you for today. And we thank you for your word. We thank you that you've freely given us access to your Bible. Lord, there are people out there that have never seen or held or or even had access to the Bible, but Lord, mm -hmm. we are freely given it. And on every, every bookshelf, on Amazon, God, we can buy it. We can have it on our bookshelf, Lord. And we just thank you for that. But we just pray that you would use your word to speak to the hearts of every listener, that we would open up our Bible if we haven't opened it up in a while, that we would receive from your word. And Lord, that you would prepare a, a soft spot in our heart and a sensitivity for your word, that we wouldn't receive it with, with being offended. We wouldn't receive it in a defensive way, God, but we would receive it wholeheartedly and openly and receive your word. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review, for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow, we pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.